This is everything you need to know to spray paint a fence. Hey, my name is Dave. Painting your fence not only looks good, but is the best way of preserving your timber. Let's get into it. Before you paint the fence, check the forecast. It's always best to paint your fence when the weather is warmer, not only on the day, but the day after, to ensure the paint cures evenly. Next, you'll give your fence a clean to remove any dirt or cobwebs, and making sure we get into those tight nooks and crannies. From here, we need to prepare the paint. We need to give the can a good stir through so all the tint isn't sitting at the bottom. Once stirred, pour into the container and top up 10% with water to thin the paint for spraying. Before we paint the fence, we need to test the sprayer out on a piece of cardboard first. Now, you're ready to hit the ground running. You turn the nozzle vertical or horizontal, depending on which way the palings sit. If you have horizontal fence panels, you need to use the vertical nozzle. If your fence panels are vertical, turn the nozzle horizontal. To get into the tight areas underneath the rails, turn the nozzle so the pressure is more direct rather than a light spray. It's important to change the angle you are spraying at between coats to make sure you get in between all the nooks and crannies. To avoid getting any paint on your neighbour's fence or plants, hold a piece of cardboard over the top of the fence to avoid the overspray. When it comes to an obstruction along the fence line such as plants or established trees, wrap the foliage up with some garden mesh and cable ties to pull this back. Once all secured and tied up out of the way, begin spray painting your fence. If any paint drops get on the foliage, quickly wipe it away with a damp cloth. When you finish your first coat, leave to dry, then apply a second coat. Once finished, make sure all your equipment is cleaned out thoroughly. And there you have it, an easy DIY project to change the look and feel of your space. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips and tricks.